much is this quickie worth? The Laffer Curve, named for economist Arthur Laffer, states that there's a point where increasing the tax rate will result in lower revenues. Leftists keep denying this, but mathematically, it has to be true. Think about it. What if taxes were 0% of income? Then of course revenues are going to be zero. But what if taxes were 100% of income? It would still be zero because no one would bother working. What's the point? We'd all just have hobbies or do volunteer work. Or more likely, work under the table or barter directly. If revenues are zero at a 0% tax rate and 100%, what happens in the middle? There are only two options. One is that it's a flat line, which means the government will never get any revenues no matter what the tax rate is. Of course, we know that's false. That leaves the only other option. It's a bell curve of some kind. Revenues go up for a little while, but then they peter out and then start to go down. After that point, it's actually counterproductive to raise the tax rate. And as much as leftists like to deny this as right-wing propaganda, the fact is John Maynard Keynes himself described a similar effect in The Means to Prosperity and related it to a manufacturer trying to make up for losses by raising the price of his product. Now, the Laffer Curve makes no assertion as to precisely where that point is, but empirically, we know that revenues only go up and down with the tax rate when it's less than 10% or so. After it reaches that point, you can raise taxes all you want, it's not going to affect revenues, because the negative effect they have on economic activity will cancel it out. And that's exactly what we've seen in the U.S. since 1950 or so. According to the Congressional Budget Office, federal revenues have been a pretty constant 15 to 18 percent of GDP, no matter what Congress does with the tax rate. So any ideas people have of paying off the debt by taxing the rich or imports or whatever just aren't going to work. The only way out of this is to reduce spending.